up guys another quick video here um, I'm actually gonna do a quick review on this blow-off valve uh, this is just a cheap version you can get them from about ten fifteen dollars all the way up to over a hundred dollars uh, it's made of billet aluminum and what it's gonna do is basically create a little bit of a gap right here um, that will allow the air that's built up the spooling from the turbo when it comes back it goes here into this diverter and then back into the intake what this is going to do is create a gap that gives you that psh sound the psh. you'll hear it here in a second Alright, so that's what it sounds like stock. Now keep in mind, I have the engine cold air intake. What you are hearing is the cold air intake pulling air in. Um, you're not actually hearing the diverter itself. <laughs> Get this off we basically have three screws here uh, what i'm going to use what i found that fit was a number four uh, this fit perfectly over that and i'm just going to use that to back it out and pull these off first and clip this pull that out of the way i've already loosened that one again i'm just using that number four Okay, so we're going to put these little rubber seals on. Um, to get it to stay in place while I'm trying to position it, I'm going to use just a tiny bit of Aquaphor, or you could probably use Vaseline, and just put a little bit on there. Um, that should help when I go to lay this on, hold it in place, so that now it won't fall off when I go to place it. Okay, so I've got this on here. Um, now what we're going to do is put it in place. Make sure your holes line up, and then we're going to use the screws that they provided just to reattach. Got that installed. Um, got the three screws in. This bottom one was tough. Uh, main reason was because of the engine cold air intake. It's kind of looping right there where it is. Um, but now let's see what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 